Hello and welcome to the All Night Gamers Podcast, episode 59. Uh, I'm joined by the usual gang of Alex and Cameron, because Cooper is still dead, and Mayo has disappeared off the face of the earth. How are you guys doing? Welcome. Okay, after last week. <laughs> yeah. Better. I'm glad that's over. Um, it's over for now, but I also get Thursday and Friday off this week for uh, fall break. You have four days off? Break. Come visit me. No. I'm going to hang out with Grant. Ah, huh, yeah, because I also have four days off. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> but not for fall break, just because I'm a adult that gets to decide when he wants to take time off. Um, Sora is out in Smash. You heard it here last. I'm certain of it. But Sora is But we out. also said it first. Yeah, we did claim We've... it. That's in our rumors section. Uh, we did claim that previously. So We've also been saying it for years, so... <laughs> Someone sent me after Sora got announced. They sent me on Reddit. They were like, you predicted Sora entirely. And I was like, what in the world are you talking about? They were like, good job. Um, three years ago, I put a post up on r slash Kingdom Hearts with just some ideas of like what I would like to see if Sora got added. Just costumes and stuff. And that's the only thing I can think they're talking about. Okay, but like does that mean you have, like, what did you put on the post? Uh, here, I've got it somewhere. I'd hope so, if you're going to bring it up. Yeah, no, I was just going to bring it up. Here, let me grab it. Anyway, I mean, while, I don't he's, think... while he's looking for that, we'll talk about Sora more in just a moment. Um, just a quick, yeah, so we got a lot of rumors, a bunch of new SWOLED stuff, potentially future Switch Pro, future proof thing. We'll talk about that. Also, IGN finished up their best game of all time bracket. Um, the result is not the worst, but could have been better. We'll talk about that as well and our picks for favorite game or best game of all time. Um, so hi, hello, hi, welcome to the show. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, Sora out october 18th my most wanted character in smash is in smash it doesn't feel real <laughs> yeah this is uh super huge also the uh end of an era um the last character to be revealed for smash ultimate the last stuff to come out for smash ultimate it's all this is it um feels weird feels wrong yeah I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of glad it's over. It's like I'm ready for the speculation of the next thing. I want to see what Sakurai does next. I'm oh, excited. absolutely! Nap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have a can drink. Can the next, can the next Sakurai direct just be Sakurai napping for an hour, or like sitting in Hawaii or something? Yeah. Prove to us that this man is actually getting to rest. Maybe we'll see him make a new kid or Chris, though. That would be cool. That would be very fun. Um, and also, it would be on the Switch, so it'd be, you know, playable. I mean, not that the last one was. I don't know what I'm saying. Um. So yeah, Sora is out October 18th. So like two weeks, two weeks and two days. Not next Monday, but the following Monday. Yeah. yeah. So we'll try to talk Maybe about Maybe my him Switch can run up to Nintendo and get back before he releases. That I mean, you might look good. out. Yeah. But Austin, I really doubt it with shipping delay. You delays. literally can just put your account on the other Switch and then run the data that way. That's why I left that Switch there. Um. Yeah, just buy another switch in the meantime it's not we already have another switch. yeah i'm gonna the buy thing. a switch oled i spent a hundred dollars to get this one fixed i'm gonna spend 350 dollars the to get switch i one. left there what what's use the switch shut that up I left. shut up buy a new one buy a new one let's see don't american encourage way him. don't right. encourage him to spend money it broke <laughs> time for a new toaster <laughs> time for a new toaster um so along with this, all of the Kingdom Hearts games are coming to Switch via cloud streaming. That's so which is dumb. Cool, but it's, yeah, it's like awesome. It... But one point five and two point five 
ran perfectly fine and well on the PS3. That's what I was about to say. Eat. Like, do you think you like can can we not manage that? Yeah, and I don't. Dream Drop Distance is a 3DS game, hmm. so most of them could run, no problem. And honestly, three could run with some heavy. I could see, I could see Kingdom Hearts three being the one that's cloud streaming, but all the others being on like a compilation or something. That as well, maybe the prologue to three, which was in two point eight, also needing to be cloud streamed. But the rest, I'm like, this makes no sense. This yeah. is just them going. We well, don't want to. Here you go. <laughs> we don't want to work on it. Um, we worked. Hard. We worked very hard telling you Man, what to do with our character. If anything, we are felt not doing any more effort. Like Disney mandated it. It was when they were like, "If you own Dream, if you own Melody of Memories with save data on the Switch, you get a special song in Smash." That's what made it feel mandated by Disney. Yes. I mean, it, that's not the first time they've done special stuff for. They've only done spirits. In the past, not music. I oh, mean, wow. I'm fine now we with get a I... song. Buy this I mean, game and you can hear a song. I don't care either way. I, I have saved data of the game on the Switch. That's where I it beat is. It. it is a bop. I do want that song. Um, he looked pretty good though. His move set seemed. Um, I didn't watch a lot of it due to work today being like slam busy this morning um interesting which kind of sucked because i was hyped but i was also like in meetings so i couldn't like freak uh. out uh or anything i couldn't like be hyped for anything i just sit there and, like pay attention just like glance down and see like what's happening um the trailer was really sick yeah that yeah the I... ending of sora and mario shaking hands was really cool yeah for real absolutely um, um. But yeah, three years ago, I put up a post on r slash Kingdom Hearts, and I said that if he got in, I think his move, his costumes would be his three, two, one, Dream Drop Distance, and then I picked Wisdom Form, Master Form, Final Form, and Anti Form as the other four. So six out of eight, not bad. Yeah. But Anti Form's kind of like Timeless River. Who would have expected in one of the world costumes to actually get thrown in? I mean, if there's a world custom to be thrown in, it kind of has to be the one that's not really... Everybody really... owns the 1940s cartoon style, so they didn't have to do any work to get permission for that one. Um, the stage is cool. Hollow Bastion. Mm -hmm. It is very hype. All the platforms in the background really made my mind go for a loop, though. Mm -hmm. They rebuilt the outside of the world for Smash. And then dive into the heart part, which is also super cool. Um, were you talking about the fact that they removed Donald and Goofy from everything, Cameron? When? Like... So in the they show in Dive to the Heart they show the uh, oh, yeah, stained yeah, yeah. glass. They they did remove Donald and, and they that. like took the two versions we've seen for Sora. One's just Destiny Isles and one's just um him with all his friends. And the one with his friends they like combined those two so that they could remove Donald and Goofy from the stained glass. Bro, and then I I want I would rather have Goofy. In Smash. <laughs> That'd be funny. I would, yeah, I would I would actually freak out for that. Imagine if they did, like, some mega troll. Like, Goofy it's and Smash. It's actually Goofy. So sorry to tell you this. That would be funny. Yeah. I, they did reference Donald and Goofy in the trailer. With uh, Duck Hunt. True. And they reference the fact that Sora fights Sephiroth in one and two. Mm -hmm. And shows him beating up Sephiroth. Okay, Alex, correct me if I'm wrong, but Sakurai said I'm not showing the final smash, right? 
and then yeah. immediately showed the final smash, right? Yeah. He said, I'm not showing it. And then during the fight, he showed it. Yeah. Probably so didn't mean like, to do that. But yeah. then they showed it later in the trailer anyway, so like, oh. I don't understand. This Unless there's something... Or maybe it's different in the final version. See, that would be weird, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Like, what's, what's the point in having one for the trailer? Especially this close to release. True, but Ridley had different costumes at E3 after we saw his real ones in the trailer. Like, he didn't have the meta Ridley ones. Okay, that's interesting. Um, but I'm pretty sure this will be his final smash in the game. Yeah. It is hype. I I loved watching that. That was awesome. Um, along with Sora, Steve, Alex, and Min Min Amiibo will be coming out this spring, this coming spring of next year. And Man. we are getting Octoling, Steve. Jug, and Doomslayer me outfits, which is pretty cool. Steve looks no different than any toy you can go pick up today. It is certainly Steve. It is yeah. very Alex. Thank you, Sakurai. I don't I really saw a think photo Mojang of the double from... pack. I'm pretty excited for that. I don't think Mojang really releases stuff of Alex, so that's cool. Yeah, that's well, pretty neat. I mean, she's in like all the Lego sets, right? But yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't think she really did the figure things. things. Yeah. Uh, but Steve's everywhere in that same pose. Yeah, I'm not worried about Alex and Steve. Um, I'll still pre order him, but I'm not worried. So, the Doom account tweeted out a picture of Isabel and Doom Slayer. Yeah, I saw that. You can finally have that match made now. Yeah. Which I'm really I, glad to see. I'm a little upset there's not another. Um, what were they called? Premium Costume. me costumes? Yeah. Premium me that costumes? Just... Like uh, Cuphead. And Sans. Oh. Where they just looked a little better and they came with a music track. Right. Um so yeah, uh every, something that pretty much everybody's been wanting for a long time, finally here. Um and yeah, uh next thing, um a couple of stuff that's coming out this week. A couple of stuff. Uh Sure. Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania is out today. I am literally holding it in my hand. My one errand before we recorded this today was to go pick it up. Um, and so I, I can't say I've, I have not tried it. I put it in my Switch, but I can't try it because we're recording right now. So um, tune in next week, I guess, because um, I know you're itching for the Banana Mania review for sure. Um, and... Metroid Dread and the Switch OLED model dropped this Friday. Big excitement there. Ready for Metroid Dread. Um, Cameron, where's your copy? I know Grant's is missing. Wait, what? Metroid Dread. Wait, Grant's copy is missing? It's not missing. No, it's just it's... not shipped, which means... Okay, I, mine says it's going to arrive on, like, the 14th. Fuck that's, you, Target. That's, yeah, that's what Target says for me, too. Great. Uh... That's a great sign. What does yours say, Alex? I'm using Cameron's because he's oh. shipping it here. Oh. Yeah, I went... So I debated about switching it to here, but I was like, it's going to screw up the uh, logistics and then I won't get it at all. But to be fair, I also didn't get one of my Zelda Amiibo, so... Oh, one of your three Zelda Amiibo? Yeah, big whoop. Scalper? <laughs> I'm not a scalper! Scalper. I can't um, scalp if I don't receive it. Okay, well, just like make you scalper with a Q. Scalper with what? Your Q. Scalker? No, we'll just change <laughs> the seat. <laughs> I, just, I, don't know, I, I don't know what you're trying to say here, Alex. I don't either. <laughs> it's just like he won't accept the title scalper. So we'll just slightly change it. Um... And yeah, so with with that, uh, we'll move on to Collector's Corner. This is the weekly segment where we go around and talk about games we've been playing and pickups that we have and all that good stuff. 
Um, so sticking with the usual rotation, Cameron, why don't you go first? <laughs> the usual rotation is correct. Nothing. Because I have picked up nothing. I I looked for a game store. No dice. Yeah, no, it kept, it kept telling me GameStop. So I'm like, no, you've cool. got to put like secondhand game shop and I did wherever and it's in you live. GameStop. And I'm like, I'll die. I'm not going to GameStop. I'll die. <laughs> I will die. <laughs> I'll die. I guess I don't know. I want. I just want to find a PS2 and memory card. Did and you Disney try? A, did you try googling retro game store? Yeah. No, it sent me to GameStop again. I guess you don't have any then. Hey, spend your search. It's Orlando, Florida. Like, what do you mean? There's no store like that here. There's stores for everything here. There should be one, so I'm a little surprised you're not getting any. Did results. you look like past like what Google recommended, like the links? And yeah. Stuff? Yeah, and I still didn't find it. Nothing. But also, I mean, I was also I don't know. I'll do a proper search on my laptop. I was on my phone because oh. I was trying to do it while I was out. Dude, I will say some of the um pawn shops around here sketch as hell not going to those every pawn shop pawn is a little bit sketchy usually that's, get that's just how okay, pawn shops work they the buy outside... guns and jewelry for cash no questions asked you can't tell me that's not going to be sketched no matter what the circumstances are okay you but can the walk in with a gun and walk out with cash no sketch. paper trail that is also true well, there is a paper trail in the pawn shop we sold it to this or we bought this gun from this guy. Okay, but you just give them a fake name. I don't I don't know what to tell you. Mm. Have a fake ID. What are they going to do? Check it? Yes. They might. They should. Um, by, all, by all accounts, they should. Yeah, most pawn shops are pretty sketch. Yeah. I went with some of our friends here. and um, Okay, we, I already we found one. We were instantly like, no, don't do that. Cameron, where's Winter Park? Well, technically, that's where I live. There's a used. Oh, a good. We're putting that. Game shop good, in. good. I'm glad we're putting that information out in the public. <laughs> where, <laughs> where is just... Reed's address? <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to say that's where I live. You're just supposed to say, "I know where that is." Where is this address? Oh, I live there. <laughs> with my wife and children and our three dogs yeah and all my stuff all my riches look they ain't gonna get in here we get the tightest yeah just say, you, <laughs> just, just say you own a bunch of guns or something i'm, I'm at home, home cleaning, cleaning my cleaning. gun <laughs> correct alex I've actually got a friend that, like, will leave parties to go home and clean his guns. <laughs> He's done that multiple times. Hey, buddy, where are you going? Yeah, he's I like, gotta yeah, go I gotta, I gotta head out. I gotta clean my guns. And he's, like, not trying to be funny. He's like, yeah, I just need to go clean my guns. It's, like, 11 o'clock at night on a Thursday. Uh, yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go. I got it. I got <laughs> to clean my right guns now. for the you second don't... time this week. <laughs> you don't understand. I got to clean my guns right now. Yeah. I feel like it's just an intimidation tactic at that point. I really don't know. I don't I don't prod it because that just sounds like a something you don't touch. You just don't. It's just like yeah. Mm. Don't jump in the alligator pit. Don't question people with guns. That you kind know. Of thing. The basic survival instincts. Yeah, well, it's not like he's going to shoot me on sight. I just don't want to fight some <laughs> some hick about guns. Anyway, this is a video game podcast. Um, <laughs> is it? And, um, did you actually play anything this week, Cameron? So... No. Excellent. Alex. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why you expect All me to play. This past week, I had three tests. And then I took it really easy after the test. So what did I play? I finished, I sat down, and I platinumed the three Persona dancing games because I had a few achievements left, but I managed to get the hardest one in the game. each of those games done, and the rest weren't anything after that. So all three are now platinum. I also beat the DLC in True Colors, the Wavelength. 
uh, stuff about staff. Um, I played a little bit of Odin Spear on my PS5, and did I buy anything? I I'm send, I set up my Switch and I paid the hundred dollars to get it sent off. Sent off, but I'm saying if I bought it on this list, um, I might not have actually bought anything for once. Nothing here looks new. Wow. Um, so I don't think I bought anything this week. Well, don't worry. I'll pick up the slack. Um, outside of the fact that I had enough points on the Google Play thing from clicking it and buying things on there that they were like – that I was able to get uh, a bunch of the Orbs and Fire Emblem Heroes, one of those packs for free. Nice. Yeah. Um, for me, okay, starting with non-video game stuff, I bought 1.4 million Sheeb coin. I have no idea what that means, <laughs> and I'm not joining you in another coin. Why not? Do um, it. So, yeah, it's a competitor to Dogecoin, which is also, it's pretty much the next, like, shit coin registered Man. trademark. Um, and 1.4 million of them cost me about 25 bucks. <laughs> what you put in Dash. that's pretty good so yeah also i'm totally writing it because elon's he has a shiba now and he's tweeting about it and you know i'm not really like i don't really care about elon all that much but so these uh, are worth nothing but if they get worth something you make they're a lot worth of right now one thousandth of a 1.6 thousandths of a cent right now one shiba coin is point zero 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 one six cents Maybe I'll put in a dollar. That will literally <laughs> buy you like 70,000 coins or something. Yeah. Like that will buy you a lot. So the joke is like if like what if it gets to a like a cent? Like that's like $10,000 for me, right? If it get to 1 cent or something, but I don't I really mean, care. I've just got some extra money in my brokerage account that I'm messing around with um but yeah. That is so. that, that is exactly yeah, our Dogecoin like... is worth 25 cents right now. Yeah, my cool. stuff's up more. I think I'm getting close back to Oh, actually I don't want to I don't want to name exact numbers anyway. Um but I but yeah, that is good. Um for actual game stuff, I got a lot of Xbox games from my local game store that was super cheap cuz nobody wants Xbox 360 games right now. I got Dead Island Gears of War 2. I wish that was still true um, for PS3 games, but ever since they almost shut down the store. Yeah, that's the are... thing. Like, how long is it before the same thing happens to Xbox, you know? Or, like, even if it doesn't, like, they're super cheap right now. They pretty much can't get that much cheaper. Um, Gears of War 2, XCOM, Double May Cry HD Collection, Blood Bowl, Blazing Angels, Modern Warfare 3, um, and Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. I tried to... I bought Forza Horizon. It didn't work. That's, like, the first time they ever gave me a game that didn't work. And it didn't even look scratched at all on the disc. It was weird. But I took it back, and they resurfaced it and tried it at the store again, and it still didn't work, so they just... I just got something else. So I got the They had an Xbox code. 360 in the store? Um, they have one of, like, every system for games that they sell to test on. Is this GameStop? No. Okay, I was very confused. No, it's my local my local retro store. Got you. Um, and then I finally decided to get a IPS display mod kit for my Game Boy Advance. Um, not my SP. I, I want to have a backlit screen on the original GBA because that form factor is so much more comfortable. So I finally got that kit. Going to do that mod. I'm very excited. And I thought with that I should get some more GBA games. So I got... Um, Kirby the Amazing Mirror and Wario Land 4 off a of claim sale for pretty cheap. And also, I finally found a copy of Manish Cap that wasn't abhorrently expensive. Um, Was nice. it a repo, though? No. You know I don't buy repos. I try not to, but I keep falling um, for the trap. I mean, if it is, I'm going to go to eBay with it and demand a refund because he says tested and authentic. 
in the description. Do you have a picture? I can tell you. I mean, I looked at the pictures. Like, all the signs you can tell from the outside say it's authentic, but you never really Minish Cap's sure. one of those easier ones because of the uh, stickers. I don't yeah. know why, but it's got a weird... It's original stickers, hard to print for some reason. Um, and then I got uh, Banana Mania, literally just now. And then I also got a new computer mouse because I was tired of mine glitching and ruining my game in Apex. So I went and bit the bullet, got a new one. Um, got it. Blame the <laughs> equipment. <laughs> well, and I'm not going to say it. I'm not saying it's making me better. I'm just saying that, like, my mouse would actually glitch and, like, disconnect sometimes. So I'd just be standing in the you. middle of a match, like, I not just, being able to move. Um, I just saw an opportunity to meme. Yeah, I'm not saying that the, the mouse is the difference between me getting into Predator League or whatever. Um, cause I'm not ever what doing it is? that. Doubt, but it's not. <laughs> um, but speaking of, I have played a lot of Apex Legends recently. I've been um trying to get Battle Pass levels so I can have enough money for the Battle Pass next season. Um, I got you. I was confused. I was like, also, there's a really cool battle. Bloodhound event going on right now that I'm doing. That's um, the uh, there's gonna be the... two different Halloween events that I'm pretty excited for. Yeah, I cannot play Apex here. Quite um, sad. What else? I've played a little more Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Okay, what do you um, think? It's I mean it's you, just still good. It's just good. It's just a good really good game. Um, you might be ahead of me though. I have not played that much. I I just finished the the fight ring thing like with the first one. That's where to I am. Okay, I just finished my first fight with there. The, with the girl, right? Uh, yeah, Riv Rivet. Rivet. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's where I stopped. So I was about playing, to do another one, like and then I stopped. Um, I did play some stuff on 360 to test it out. Test out those games I got. Um, mostly Modern Warfare 3. Um, I played like two seconds. I played. Well, no, I played a little more. Uh, Binding of Isaac. Uh, and Yoshi's Crafted World of all things, actually. Interesting. That was a ra- that was my really random one for the week. I just played a level in that for no particular reason. Um, and I think that's it. That's cool. a lot of. I'm very excited for that mod kit to come in for my game of Grand. Oh, I also got my drone replacement, and uh, my friend that crashed my drone finally uh, bought me a new one. So. That came in today, so I have a drone again, which I'm going to bring to the game. I'm not going to fly it in the stadium because I'll get arrested, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to bring it to the tailgate oh, and stuff. Please photos. don't get arrested. <laughs> um, I probably won't get arrested, but I'll definitely get kicked out. It's illegal to fly over people like that um, by the FAA and stuff. So I just I mainly want to bring it to to bring to the tailgate and take some cool photos and stuff. Um, and yeah, uh, that'd be fun. Yeah, so with that, we'll move on to the tidbits. Does someone have uh, Faye news to cover up Cooper? I can do Faye. Um, so Fire Emblem Heroes announced their fall or October Halloween units. They leaked them early by accidentally posting them on a post about um, one of the other heroes. Out or, uh, let's see, they announced... Um, Tiki and Byleth as a duo unit. Then, Robin. Uh, yeah, Rob, Fallen Robin as the Halloween unit. Rhea from Three Houses. Byleth and Southis as a duo. A name I'm not even going to try to pronounce from Radiant Dawn. Uh, and Sophia as the Frey unit for everybody. Where did I get Tiki and Robin? I don't. You see, this is why I need sleep. Um, that is your problem. It really is. <laughs> I'm dying. And yet, after this episode, you're about to go get wasted. I mean, Correct. You know, YOLO, right? Look, no. if I die, I die. Whenever I try to Can make I jokes about stuff? memes from like five years ago, I sound like my siblings trying to be hip with me about current memes. 
Like me saying YOLO just there sounds like my sister trying to say bet or something. Is Shout it because she uses it wrong? Um, not really. She mostly uses it because she knows it bothers me. <laughs> like I said it once and then her and my dad tag teamed up on me and <laughs> laughed at me for using the word bet. Like everybody oh, I hang God. out with and talk to and entire internet culture doesn't say it. Right. Uh, so now like, like, I don't really care if they use bet or not. It doesn't upset me, but they try to upset me with it because they know about that time that they bullied me when they first found out what bet was. So now whenever they're around me, um, I can't say bet, which is really hard because I have to think about every word I say because I say bet all the time. Yeah. And if I slip up once, then my day's ruined. <laughs> anyway. Um, well, it's a good thing neither of them will be at the tailgate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Correct. Haha, you left at bet. Well, you got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she doesn't listen to this show. <laughs> I bet if my brother, I, I don't know if my brother still listens to it either, but if he does, I'm sure I'll get a kick out of that. Anyway, uh, Nintendo France <laughs> tweeted a photo of metal of uh, Snake from Metal Gear looking straight up Samus' ass and <laughs> tweeted uh, the eye emoji, like the eye looking emoji that you usually use when you're referring to someone online who's posted a photo of their ass. Um, and everybody freaked out and Nintendo France immediately deleted it but screenshots are everywhere now because of course there are so definitely go look that up that happened um, that did happen and it was hilarious so Nintendo France is down bad out here That yeah but I listed um, the photos on the smash site and yeah it's been but there you don't tweet time. it with the eyes emoji <laughs> like the uh, the emoji that everyone uses to be like man look at this ass <laughs> they did yeah Some nintendo france did to do that. poor intern Cooney. <laughs> he got yeah fired. he's fired that guy's fired he's so fired <laughs> the guy is so fired <laughs> Um, Blue Point Games joins the PlayStation Studios family, which is cool. Um, they've worked on several pretty cool things, and only time will tell what they work on next, but it'll probably be a new IP. That's usually what PlayStation Studios does when they bring in somebody like that, so. Mm -hmm. Um, Shin Megami Tensei Five English cast was revealed? Yeah. The... I'm not really big um, on the SMT franchise, so give me uh, what's your impression. Um, I recognized a couple voice actors from things, but usually with English cast, you'll recognize a lot if you start recognizing dub cast because they're in like everything. If that makes sense, yeah. Like Matt Mercer is like in everything, so I was kind of surprised this was more like a cast of people I didn't really recognize. I gave a couple names I caught that I was like, okay, I've seen the, I know things are in, they've been in once or twice before. Um, one I recognized from Persona, and or two I recognized from Persona, and one I recognized from uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, but that's about it. From, I mean, I think that's cool though. I like seeing people, more people, join in. Yeah, more like than that. just the same group every time. Yeah. Even if the same group is a master group of masters at their craft. Yeah. Well, you don't keep masters forever. You gotta train new people eventually. So, you know. Good for them. Good for them. Um You wanna know what's not good for them? China banning games with same sex relationships in them. Stardew Valley has been banned in China. Stardew Valley, uh, Mass Effect 3. Um, oh, does Mass Effect 3 have same sex? Well, oh, not marriage, but it does have. Uh, I think, based on what I know about China, uh, I think it means I'm any guess indication. Assassin's Creed Valhalla? I think the the main image. You know, like a lot of articles have like a leading image at the at the top of the article. Yeah. Well, this one that I'm reading from out.com, the leading image is a hot gay scene from of two Vikings. So I'm going to guess that's Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, that's not a sex um, expected to hear on this podcast. 
Well, I'm just telling you what I'm looking at. This is new. This is the news. Grant, we're gonna uh, build a podcast. Gay Vikings. I guess three houses is banned. Technic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, according to the memo, the country has laid out new restrictions for get- video games, stating that they are not just quote I mean pure entertainment and must portray quote a correct set of values. Unfortunately, <laughs> those values include homophobia. <laughs> let's, let's, let's remember this. You basically couldn't get your game in Japan in any or China. not Japan, China. I'm thinking about Japan because everything video game related is from Japan. Um, you can't get your Japan game doesn't out give of a Japan damn about sex China. stuff. They're into. Have you seen? I mean, have you Googled? I don't want what I they're don't into, wanna. man. They don't give I don't a wanna. damn. Okay, gay is the least thing China. worried about Jap- Japanese You barely people. can get your game into China. Yeah, like true. Nintendo doesn't even have their consoles there. They have the IQ. They use the they use the Nvidia Shield yeah. to. Uh, put like Galaxy to sell it to make money in China. I uh, the all the Hollywood companies and stuff care about China. I'm like I don't care. I don't care if they're a huge market or you anything. know that John Cena is a sellout to China. John yeah. Cena learned Chinese because he's a sellout to China. Yep. I saw a video of him speaking Chinese, holding an ice cream cone in the car. And I went to my friend's group chat and I was like, can someone explain to me why John Cena can speak semi-fluent Chinese? And they opened my eyes like, oh, I didn't know. But yeah, um, if regulators can't tell the character's gender immediately, the setting of the characters could be considered problematic and red flags will be raised. It continues saying that if a male character dresses or acts like a woman, the game will be banned. So you can't act fruity at all. You or can't Sona- cross dress. <laughs> you can't do drag. Uh, Persona 4 is banned in China. Yeah. Uh, that covers a lot of stuff. So you can't Breath act like a woman. What? What is what? acting like a woman? You know. Define that for me, China. What does <laughs> acting like a woman mean? It means if your game's not be- made in China, it's banned. Great. <laughs> I figured it out, guys. What is the game supposed to like? Wh- wh- I just what? don't. So, uh, that's just a really hard. Like, imagine, like, if someone big in the world, like in America, said something along the lines of, wait, they, "They should act they like a woman." Everyone's gonna ask, like, what is what that? What does that mean? So China obviously what must mean? have a definition. Is what does that just mean? Like, I, like, uh, I want men inside me, and that's it. <laughs> what I mean, what define what acting like a woman is? Like, are they supposed to act a certain? Are they just breeders? Are they like in China? slaves? I mean, yes. yes. Yeah, in China they are slaves, but this is uh, China we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> the answer is yes, but slaves and breeders. Good, cool. Yeah, I can't wait to play games uh, where where women get raped. I'm, I'm, I'm. Yeah, great, great job, yeah, China. We're really uh, promoting. We're really working on the real it. problems. These are the real problems we're getting down to. So every other nation in the world won't sell A-rated games, but China has no problem with it. <laughs> yeah. Actually, now that's going to be the next law. Every game has to have so much women abuse in it that it's AO. Every game has like to have it. abusive properties to it. I'm um, glad we figured it out. I don't like that. That's awful. Yeah, I I would China, like. Like, how long China is it before, like, if a man starts acting gay? Like, also, like, what do they defi- define? Define what like acting gay is. Like, if I. Way. Like if I wear shorts that like are a little bit shorter than conventional, is that considered like define acting gay? Like define if you, acting if you, like, like a if, woman some, if some dude in a game wears shorts with like a five inch seam or something, is that gay? I don't know. You tell me, China, Xi Jinping. Tell me what like how do you define that? Look, this man banned <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. That is true <laughs> because people said he. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh I mean, looks like him. That is a, that's probably the toughest question I've ever thought of. Like, define gay. Like, define 
acting like a woman? Like, here's here's the answer you would get. You know, you just know when you see it. No, 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 no. You know the answer you would get? You're in jail now. You're Goodbye. in jail. <laughs> How dare you question I mean, me. they already did the Tenement Square. Who says they um, can't they do are, it again? They're... <laughs> Last okay, this is this is getting a little off topic, and we won't keep talking about this because this is getting really political. But I have to read this. Last month, the nation also announced that quote sissy men would be banned from broadcast TV. When's the last time someone in this country referred to a gay guy as a sissy? Barney Mac, maybe in the nineties, back before that know. became a problem. Oh my word. <laughs> Like, I don't. imagine if people, like, well, I don't have to say imagine, because people do do this, but, like, like, just going around what? calling people, like, I, like, I can't think of someone that's, like, gay and very popular. Lil Nas X, I don't know, or Elton John. Imagine if people just, like, still called him sissy or whatever. Like, that's so, fu- that is so messed up, dude. China sucks. We're moving on. Uh, <laughs> We're enough moving about on the gay talk. Right now. This is terrible. Um, so we were right on the rumor of Sora being announced for Smash on October 5th. Let's get for that. Uh, we're two for two. Love that. Um, we are so smart. You should just believe us. Come to our podcast. We'll give you the real rumors and we'll weed out the trash. In fact, we'll, we are the rumor mill. We make the rumors. Don't listen to anyone else. Fact. Um, Bloomberg claimed that 11 different developers had 4K Switch development kits in their possession, including Zynga. And if you don't know who Zynga is, Zynga is a company you... that made Farmville. Yeah, if you don't know Lots who Zynga making is, a Star Wars game. Here. They're making a Star Wars game for the Switch. Yeah, that's why they're connected to the content- Nintendo. But um, they were big with Facebook games back in the day. That Zynga. Um, that Zynga. If you don't know who they are, you're probably too young. Yeah. And why are you listening old. to this podcast? It's gonna be on a specific. Not podcast. most. I guess they might not recognize the company who made it, but most Nothing. adults would hear Farmville. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, Inten- it was actually such a popular rumor that Nintendo's official business account from Japan tweeted out to confirm that. that we are like something we are only releasing the Switch OLED model, and we have no plans for. Uh, new hardware at this time, which this isn't the first time they've had to come on their Twitter and deny a rumor, and they're doing it a hundred percent because they don't want to upset their investors, um, because you're not supposed to lie to them. So they're making clear to the investors well, that they are not lying. Lie to them. Yeah, so they're making clear to their investors that they are not lying. Uh, but they again worded it where it's just like at this time, like there it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when if nintendo wants to redefine the console life cycle like they talked about it's gonna happen it might be in four years but But it's it's gonna happen at some point it's a matter of Uh, of of when not if did Um, you see that post earlier about um the oled dock being 4k that is the next rumor in the list Yep. Excellent. I'm not um, looking at the sheet. I'm building like But one more thing on this. Zynga also came out and denied that they had <laughs> that in their possession, so they don't have one. Um, so, yeah. Um, I wonder where Bloomberg got that information from. I don't know. Um, Bloomberg's been claiming this for a long time, though. Like They want so to be right on this. Sure, that there is a 4K switch that exists, and this is the second time Nintendo's come out and been like, Shut the shut up. <laughs> well, There's a, not... Eventually, it's gonna be like Bloomberg's gonna put out an article, and everyone's gonna be like, "Bloomberg, shut the hell up!" And then Nintendo's gonna be like, "Hey, 4K Switch!" Like the boy who cried wolf. Yeah, but um, the difference. The boy who is... cried. Uh, the boy Nintendo who Switch. cried 4K. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like Cameron mentioned, the Swoled dock contains a chip that is capable of outputting 4k 60 hertz and remember that this new dock is capable of firmware updates which the first dock the original dock was not capable of um which oh, yeah, means the that in the future voice. potentially you could just have a system update 
and a firmware update to the dock. Because if you're just doing this uh, AI stuff, it's not supposed to add that much processing power or processing uh, need. So, or or what about this? Maybe they put out a new switch that's 4K ready um, because maybe you do need more power or something. And then you can either use the same dock. You don't have to make another new dock. Or if you bought the SWOLED, you can buy the 4K switch on its own and not have to spend all that money on a dock. Because they're already – that was the thing back when the switch launched or like within the year. Like they started selling switches standalone. It might have just been in Japan or something. But you could buy them on their own without a dock. So maybe – you know, like – I know that's a bit of a mess to think about, but the a lot. Okay. here's the thing: if they do that, we're too stupid to make <laughs> that version. Um, but you know, I I I'm not totally opposed to the rumor idea that Nintendo would just put out a 4K update to the Swoled in some time. Um. So it's maybe like a future proofing thing. Well, like the controllers can receive updates, so maybe that's in line with that idea. Yeah, well we already know that the Swole dock can receive firmware updates. Nintendo's confirmed that. Um and For what? we don't know yet. Yeah, and that that chip like nothing. Um, they might have just put it in. People have chip. like disassembled disassemble the dock and looked at all the chips and stuff, and they noticed that they looked it up. That chip is 4K ready, 4K 60 hertz ready. Um, it's they're just not going to use it for that right now. So, you know, maybe they keep the same dock design for the future, or they release a 4K switch later, or you know something like that. Um. I mean, the only difference between this dock and the regular dock is the firmware updates, right? And the Ethernet port on the back. Uh, yeah, right. It's like I want actual, one. It's like um, an actual upgrade. I forget about that. I mean, barely. It's just now you don't have to have an adapter for the back. Um, I mean, that is an upgrade. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I'm very glad I was. I managed to get myself to cancel that order. It took me like a month from when I decided to do it because I thought about it for a long time. But that's why I made the decision so early. I was like, I got to get rid of this thing. It's not why? Because if you'd heard this stuff now, you would have kept it. Uh, no, it's it's longer. just not. The longer I think about it, the more it's not worth. Like it's it's a LAN port and an OLED screen for a system that. One, I don't play portably all that much, especially given pandemic. I will admit two, the OLED way... looks really nice. I mean, yeah, like it looks nice, but if I'm gonna play portably, I'm probably gonna use my Switch Lite because it's way easier to bring around. Um, True. And when I do play portably, I don't play for that long, you know. Like, yeah. So why put in the effort of bringing your Switch? An extra. It's not worth. Like, it's obviously the model to get if you don't have a Switch. But for me, I have three. I and that's just it's not too worth. much also the speakers really aren't all that better I mean like they're a little better but they're not that much better from the reviews I've seen that's kind of lackluster the biggest thing is the stand and well the, you and don't even need screen. we have bluetooth uh, yeah again capabilities. now bluetooth audio is so, like, on all the switches like it, it just yeah, we don't whatever. we don't need it like why um just use your headphones so what type of headphones like these would work now any no. bluetooth headphones mm-hmm. These are not Bluetooth. These require a dongle. 2.4 gigahertz. So no dongle headset. So the PlayStation headset wouldn't work. Um, It might work docked. That that might. These would not. These require the Corsair. Well, the PlayStation has a dongle. Yeah, but these require the Corsair engine to work. Okay. Um, It might work docked. I don't know. I haven't tested it because I've. But like my wireless play. headphones won't work either because mine rec- mine use a two point four gigahertz connection. They don't use Bluetooth. Um, PlayStation is all port and might get, uh, work. I I don't know if I don't think they're Bluetooth headphones. They might be Bluetooth headphones, but I don't but know. But then again, if it has a dongle, I mean, I, bro, you got you got the headset, you got a switch with a dock somewhere that works. You could try it out. Um, 
Yeah, just update the Switch. Anyway, uh, the potential future characters in Nickelodeon's All Star Brawl have already been data mined. Do you have a list of those? Uh, I can get it back up. <laughs> um, just put that line in there. Like, well, yeah, I mean, it has been data mined, but we don't really feel like talking about it. Hold on. Uh, I can say I do know one is Jimmy Neutron. I'm surprised Why he's not in there he from the, the start. Base roster? Yeah, he's me? not. New, Timmy's not in the base roster either. All right. These are classic characters. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Most of Avatar, right. the a quite a few voice lines there, right? for characters not in. What? Most of the Avatar characters are in there. There's three Avatar characters. Aang, yeah. Korra yeah. from the second one, and then a girl named Toph, but I've never um, I don't know much about Avatar to talk about that. Okay, Jeez. here's the list. But Avatar. the devs had said that don't, it's more like because they put it on Twitter, it's more like um, how Nintendo would have Xander Morpheus just read a bunch of names so that there would be no clear identity of what the DLC would be. Yeah. Jimmy Neutron, Plankton, Mr. Krabs, Squidward, Tommy Pickles, Vlad Plasmus, I have no idea. At least the others I at least recognize. Uh Zako, Zuko, Zuko, and Rocco. I the life? idea of playing Squidward yeah. in a brawler sounds incredible. That sounds hilarious, honestly. Yeah. Um, Vlad I, I Plasmus is Zuko. from Danny Phantom. I I can see Zuko, because then they'd what, have the what, whole... what is a Zuko? Zuko is Prince Zuko from uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender. I got you. Caroline got on to me for uh, not having seen that yet, so I have started watching it. Uh, yeah, Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life. I'm legitimately surprised. Timmy's not on this list, and um, the other Teenage Ninja Turtles aren't on this list. You mean like Timmy Turner? Yeah, Timmy Turner. Wow. Because he's not in the base game, but Danny is, and Jimmy Neutron's on this list, and all three were owned by uh... Nickelodeon. Yes, but also, what's his name? Dan uh, Snyder. Dan Snyder, yeah. Yeah, uh, he had like the half pedophile. rights on them. <laughs> yeah. Wait. He has like half rights on all of them. Or something like that. I don't really get yeah, it. But they don't people really... were like, Jimmy and Timmy aren't in because he owns it. And it's like, yeah, but he also owns Danny Phantom. And Danny's in the base roster. What's he going to do? Isn't he in jail? If he isn't, he should I be. I don't know. He is, in fact, a terrible person. Um, but you know, just because these are listed there doesn't mean they're the characters they'll put in, anyways. True. But Timmy Turner legitimately surprises me that he's not in the game at all. There's yeah, like... there's a lot of options with Timmy. I right. I don't understand that one. It's the easiest character. You could just make him Kirby. Essentially, if you really wanted to. Essentially, um, could be. From We're the stage assets, those, it those seems that cameras. Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so their main enemy, and Garfield are going to be added post launch. Garfield in a brawler? Okay. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I can't stop thinking about Squidward, honestly. Yeah, they said, don't expect every single data mine character to become <laughs> playable aside from and then this person added a comment of aside from Shredder and Garfield who are all but confirmed additionally characters without announcer voice lines aren't completely out of the running either according to the dev wait the devs just like saw the data mine and went Oh, yeah. They posted on Here's Discord. And do not give those voice lines much thought. They are just covering bases and not 
be all end all confirmations of what can and cannot happen. I don't even know why the extraneous ones are in the project in the first place, but hey, here's free meme material for y'all. Here's free meme material. Okay. <laughs> um and I think with that that'll we'll go into our finishing topic. IGN's best game of all time is drum roll please God of War. 2018 i called it i think um i mean not my choice but good um breath of the wild did beat bloodborne but it it lost to gta 5 bad expected um but it was close it was was within 10 percent, so could have gone either way i don't think Mm -hmm. it's really that much of a win if it's within 10 percent yeah that just means that margin of error so uh however gta san andreas did Thoroughly get beaten by uh, God of War for that spot, and Which is uh, good. also God of War beat out GTA Five by more than ten percent, by about twenty. Wasn't actually, Last so. of Us in that back in that, um, or Last of Us Two was in the Last of Us. Last of Us was in, but I'm pretty sure it got beat pretty early. Yeah, I'm know. looking right. Oh yeah, it it lost to GTA Five. It was in the um. It was out. So when we first talked about it, it was down to eight games, um, and one of those eight games was GTA Five, which had just beaten out The Last of Us. So, um, yeah, I, I'm not upset. I mean, God of War is a really good game. Um, it's not my choice for the greatest of all time, though. Absolutely not. Yeah, uh, it's just kind of you know it, that's that's the way the cookie crumbles. Um, if you're a big fan of uh, college basketball, you know that's kind of the same way. Um, even though obviously a lot of teams deserve to win more than others, it's just based on how the seeds lay out. That you know that's just how it's going to happen. Only one guy can make it out. Uh, the bracket is a loser's machine. So you know it's not fair that. That Hades, Metroid Prime, Mario 3, Persona 5, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Resident Evil 4, Breath of the Wild, and Final Fantasy 7 were all in the same bottom corner together. Right? Only yeah, one of is, those games could you, come out victorious okay. over another. So, Breath of the Wild okay, being the one that won. Out, like, why the fuck did they have Tony Hawk Skater and the um, whatever no-name game that went up against in the same corner? Those they, two should have randomizer, been, supposedly. Um, supposedly. Oh, Knights of the Old Republic? That's not a no-name game. Well, okay, that's yeah. not a no-name game. I I couldn't remember what it was. People saying. haven't played like, it in a long time, though. But, like, both of those in the same corner? Like, really? <laughs> and against each other? <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just kind of rough. Um, I still don't understand how people pick Burnout 3 over Chrono Trigger. Right, like, I'm not even a big RPG guy, but like Burnout Three, bro. Because people are bad. Man, Burnout Three is just the car racing one, right? It's not. Is that the one where you crash into? Yep. Other cars. Yeah, and you like get bonus boost for doing a lot of damage. Like, no. I like Burnout. I even, I think, I, I think Burnout Takedown I mean, is the one that I played on PSP. Game. Like, it was my favorite game on the PSP. I mean, given I was a stupid kid that didn't know any better, that was just one of the games awesome I had. Also, PSPs were mainly uh, RPG machines. Yeah. So. Um, that, I, I don't agree with that one. Yeah. I don't agree with a lot of them, but that one I really don't agree with. Yeah, that's dumb. I hate that. Yeah, that's probably my most aggravating one. Most of these, like, you can kind of make an argument for. Most of them, you can just get mad where they got placed in the first place. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, really, you know, a lot of these matchups are pretty fair. The only that, like, the top left corner has a lot of games that should not be matched against each other, and the bottom right has a lot of stuff that's matched against each other. Um, but, like, there's a lot of good matchups in here, too, like Skyrim versus Ocarina of Time. That's a really good debate. Um... Okay, but let's be fair here. People were not debating. Halo 2 versus Mass going. Effect 2. That's a pretty good debate. Dark Souls versus Shadow of the Colossus. Um, 
Which one? The original or the re? Was it a remake? I think on PlayStation. Uh, they don't mention, so I'm gonna assume the original, but I don't know. Probably. Um. All right. So, but yeah. Anyway, so this leads into what our best game of all time is. Um, I guess it's kind of a similar question. I get. I. I I would think it's different than favorite game of all time because favorite games usually have a lot of flaws. Like if you could pick one yeah, definitive best. best game, the best game, what would it be? You can name multiple, but I want to see if we can get down to one. We, ooh. So we should do our own bracket with our favorite games. Maybe later, but name Not your right game. Now. Yeah, right uh, we mean the name of that game. Hold up, it's just because I talked first. Yeah, if we made it, like if we, well, I mean, we could do kind of a similar thing where if we just rattled off a bunch of games and then put them in a seed generator like this, and then uh, bought because and then, yeah, and then we would. Oh my it. gosh, the we three of us, people. we we would absolutely have to get more people in on this because otherwise we would be there all day. <laughs> yeah, but it would be an interesting time, and that's what would be fun. Um, so, let's see, I, so let's say Mario Odyssey, original Animal Crossing, oh, no, mm. correction, Wild World, um, Thousand Year Door, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and um, Fire Emblem Three Houses. But what's your best but game out of, of all those, time? No, I was trying to <laughs> narrow it down. Um, Odyssey, Mario Odyssey. It's a good okay. pick. I would go Breath of the Wild. I want to say Stardew Valley, but I have to respect that a lot of people are not into the whole farm life sim thing. Um, so Breath of the Wild, I think, would be my best game of all time in terms of the widest appeal. Uh, that's a 10 out of 10 in my book. Um, I would pick Stardew Valley over Breath of the Wild personally, but I got to respect the, the view. But I think Mario Odyssey is also a really good one because it's pretty much hand in hand with Breath of the Wild in terms of like mass appeal and 10 out of 10 thing. Yeah, uh, um, those two are quality games all the way through. Alright, I think I got it, but I'm mentally arguing. Honestly, I... I Breath of the Wild would have um, been, like, number six for me, like, in terms of uh, games I was listening. See, cause I I'm gonna that. put this clarification first. I think I agree with you, Mass Appeal-wise. Um, but you're um, Breath of the Majora's Wild. Mask? Yeah, Majora's Mask. I heard that. Most. I heard <laughs> that. You know, people don't definitely complain all the time. No, it has a lot of the Zelda games. Um, but if Breath we're going Mass Wild Appeal easy. here, I gotta, I gotta recognize um, probably Final Fantasy VII. Uh, oh, Black Ops 2, for sure. No, that's fair. Black Ops 2 um, is fair. So I was going to say, and I'm having trouble with this. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I'm going to go and with GTA 5. Kingdom yeah. Hearts 2 Final Mix. Okay, that's, yeah. <laughs> if, we're, if we're doing Mass Appeal, 2 Final Mix is arguably... I like, like 3 better, but 3 Remind better. Um, yeah. But I think... Mass appeal wise, with the at least the story stuff, two final mix is a little easier on that front to get into. Um, because you don't need to really know anything going in, you could start there, you'll be a little lost, but you'll be fine. I mean, that honestly goes hand in hand with the story anyway, so that's fine. Um, but you know, I you start to realize how few like really like if we're talking quality game I, i'm like 10 it out of 10 it be, has to be a 10 out of 10 
like like if we're talking like maybe not necessarily like like 98 out of 100 or something like you got to be above 9.6 or something you got to be really up at the top gene mars 2 has that and also be like incredibly popular there's not a lot of games that have done that in terms incredibly of incredibly popular and that score and man that score. i could give you that score for most things but a lot of those things don't have mass appeal yeah now if we can remove the mass appeal i can expand this list a but lot. well yeah but that's the thing if it's that's, if you have to pick problem. a definitive best game of all time it has to be accepted by the majority of people yeah so you can't, that like too. that's why chrono trigger was immediately yeah because otherwise i list. totally would have put like link to the past um chrono trigger final fantasy 4 final fantasy 6 uh i'd probably put yeah you're not even an rpg uh, guy metroid uh <laughs> metroid prime um i'd probably this is gonna sound bad but i'd probably also include final fantasy 7 remake with final fantasy 7 it's kind of pick your poison really um yeah on that. What, what but they're also di- RPG do different like? stories yeah um One's a traditional Super Mario RPG. On There's a lot of RPGs you can list that are super 10 out of 10. Oh, absolutely. Like, Persona 5 Royal. Pokemon. Uh, I'd probably give it Pokemon to Crystal. Emerald. I hate that it's yellow on that list so much. Yellow yeah, is why Pokemon incorrect. yellow? Like, you yellow could have picked worse, but not by much. Not by much. <laughs> There you weren't picked, many worse choices. You picked yellow because people would recognize it. The problem is, yellow is not a good Pokemon game. So sorry, but... And it actually beat out Street Fighter 2. That was 100% because of the Gen 1-ers. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, I think a lot of people just don't have super, super strong opinions on Pokemon. Unless you're either a Gen 1-er... Or you're like super into Pokemon, like if yeah. like Pokemon's like your We're thing, in the you put a ton super of time into, into Pokemon. Yeah, I mean like because you've got the people like I've seen the memes on uh, Instagram where it's like uh, I'm a basic Pokemon starter, you know, pack whatever, and it's uh, like picking Charizard, picking the best games as Heart Gold, Soul Silver, which is weird to me that those are the ones they put on that meme. Because it's definitely Gen One that I always hear, but like we it's either Gen One or Gen One's remakes that everybody. Yeah, it's not like you actually had to play the other games to be like, this is the definitive Pokemon game. Yeah, most people that are the Gen One type don't pick things that are DS games or past. Um, yeah, but that yeah, I would have put. Yeah. I think I, th- I think we said this last time we talked about it. I probably would have put- picked Emerald. We talked um, about if you were gonna pick one earlier than Gen three, it had to be Crystal because of what it all had. Yeah, yeah. We then we were like, okay, then it would probably be Emerald, and then if Hard Gold Soul Silver, obviously. Um, but if probably I, if I was Platinum pick, in that generation. I mean, if you were gonna well, only put one Pokemon game on this bracket, which they did, why would you pick anything that's on the Game Boy Color or earlier, like? Right? Yeah. It drives you, me crazy. You have look, yeah, okay. You can't pick Gym 5 onward. No. Like Gym 5 <laughs> is you I mean for mass problem, appeal, you can Gym pick 5, 5 does not have mass appeal. Because you remove all but I like it a lot. And you don't get them till base game. Or that's well black and white too like, fix that. But they're in the base I would definitely cares about say, wait, Gen 5 is black and white, right? Yeah. Black and yeah, white, black I, two, def- white I definitely think you could pick um, See, it would now, not beat out Gen don't 4. It would not beat out Gen 4, but I think they that's don't have an, as much it's a pretty good appeal, cont- though, tender. Which is, I mean, I think it's well, just something people don't talk about a lot. But everybody true. bought Black and White because yeah. that was hot off the heels of Gen 4. When like and I everybody got the most, had a DS. At the yeah, point. and yeah, yeah, literally everybody had a DS, and the next it's Pokemon crazy game was coming to out. Me that they threw in so many unique and creative ideas in that two generations and Masuda got hurt by the reviews of Gen 5 because bashing removed... the fact that you couldn't play with old Pokemon. And that then they... they've changed it ever since. I yeah. that. You can kind of tell the reviews took a toll on him from Gen 5. Um, 
But I mean, like if they, you go and look at prices I, now, Gen you Five could push. is like the most expensive gen right now. Yeah, yeah sure. Nobody it's has really it. rare, and I laugh because all mine are downstairs. <laughs> um, you could push to X and Y for mass appeal, but that's I don't think they would win. But people really like them, and I think they're fun. Well, see, the thing is, it's so weird. Like looking at every gen, because like immediately after the hype phase. Has no, I ain't yet. giving it to Gen 7. No, <laughs> absolutely not. Trick that me into was, it. That gen was actually disgusting. Like, I mean, there's so many problems, and no one ever lets me, like, go off on them. It's or either got to like, be, in my mind, it's either got to be Emerald be... or Platinum. If you're going to pick one that's not a remake, and that is a, oh, not the a best remake. Pokemon then, yeah, game, so just, those, it's got to be Emerald or Platinum, edition. right? Like, it's... Um, like, I'd personally I'd pick say, Emerald because I'm not a big Gen 4 well, guy, but, okay. like, I gotta so, respect the game. If we're picking just Definitive Editions that isn't Gen 2, it's Emerald. Because you do have the whole... Like, Platinum did not fix all of the issues with Diamond Park. It fixed a lot of them. It did fix a lot of them. That is true. But again, That's, also, Mass Appeal-wise, Gen 4 is a bit bigger, I think. That is so, that is also true. I um, think you could legitimately there's like six games from the whole of Pokemon. Yeah, you if you include with. remakes, there's also the the Heart Gold remake is also a remake. Yeah, I, either one really. Um, I think you could matter. legitimately go as early as Crystal, but no earlier. If you're going to push Gym One or Gen Two as the best. Yeah, game if you of pick a Game Boy Color, a Game Boy, Game Boy Color game, you, you got to pick Crystal. Crystal. You have to pick Crystal. Like, uh, then Emerald and Platinum for everything they do. And then Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Those five legitimately. And then you might be able to pull something else. Maybe. I'd I'd argue for Pokemon White, honestly. Um Let's cool. get, I, I, could, I do miss Black City and White Forest. I would oh, like yeah, no, I mean, make for cool those. I, you know, like I to be fair, I need that gen is the gen that I need to go back and play most because I yeah. remember a lot of it, and I have heavy nostalgia for those games. But I don't remember like my I don't I didn't form an opinion on it because I was just an idiot sixth grader, oh, yeah, pushing buttons on a DS, like correct. Um, and Heart Gold, I went and played Heart Gold again, so I like confirmed like okay, this is really good. I need to do the same with with White. Um, I think I have black and white. I need to get cases for them. I do have the games. I do not have cases for them. I don't know. Well, where they unfortunately, are. it's Pokemon, so um, those are expensive. Yeah, I know. Don't remind me. Um, Too late. I kind of want Diamond, <laughs> the new one. Um, I would buy yeah, the double. Fair. Nintendo, just give me another double pack with a steel book in it. I will buy it. Why is this so hard? Why does everywhere else get the steel book, and why do I get either a decal set? Or magnet. Dude, the steelbook I... for this one's so cool. Like yeah. the inside. Yeah, I but just... I don't want to pay twenty dollars for it. Yeah. But like, it's also the holidays. Like, what are you? What Why are they doing this? Like look... they did it with Sword and Shield. Make it an exclusive. That's how the first one was. It was a Target exclusive for Sword and Shield with the steelbook in it. Just, I saw, yeah, um... just do that. Like, I will buy it. Why? I will buy it. I, I promise you. You will get at least one hundred and twenty dollars with... out of me. I will deal with that Target Best Buy, and they had the. uh re8 steelbook it's so lame i'm so disappointed i actually got uh the border oh yeah that was nothing i forgot for collector's corner i got the borderlands 3 steelbook for three dollars and the That's doom cool. eternal steelbook for like seven dollars or something were they cool though like um, i looked at the re8 one and i'm like okay so the doom it's... one is basically just doom art like i love doom um yeah so that's mostly why i want like i just really like dude borderlands 3 looks really cool um i'm like i'm not the biggest borderlands guy but i think the art's pretty cool and it's three dollars and i love still books so sold yeah. correct good um but yeah I spent, like, I... a good five minutes standing there i was like this is a lot because they are selling it for like 20 bucks i was like What's on the inside? So I spent like five minutes trying to find a picture. Why is there nothing on the inside of the RE8 steelbook? Because they said, give us your money, idiot. That's so lame. I was like how a lot of the devs on the Switch, when they do physical releases, don't do anything. 
It's also lame. True. Uh, 10 out of 10 games, though. That's a hard metric. I guess mass appeal-wise, they were right with Ocarina of Time. But yeah. it never would have been on last yeah. my list. Um, and like Mario Majora's 64 is also on is here. Like... better <laughs> Zelda so... 64 game. Like, I'm trying to think, like... Oh! If you could, if you could reasonably ask... That... Her, you go ahead. Okay, I can actually give you one that's a 10 out of 10 Zelda game. Like, every review gives it this thing. And it won awards for that. A Link Between Worlds. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. So, my, I think my metric is, like, if you went to, like, a group of people and you could get a majority yes as, like, would you think this – could this be the best game of all time? Then it deserves to be on that bracket. So, like, go, like you, I can see, like, Borderlands 2, Red Dead Redemption. I can see that. GTA San Andreas, Mark Hart 8. I see all that. But, like, if someone if, – if you went to a group and say, and ask, could League of Legends be the best game of all time? <laughs> And they say even the yes. League fans would say no. <laughs> yeah, even yeah, people even that the play, League fans. I could call my buddy that plays a ton of League right now, and he'd say, "No, absolutely not. This game is terrible." <laughs> what are you? Why are you asking me this? You know my answer. No, I hate League. Why do you play it all the time? Because I hate myself. <laughs> yeah, or like like Fable Two. Like, yeah, it's good, but if you're talking best of all time, you got to get that out of my face. Uh, I just don't. This don't. list hurts me. Half-Life Alex, Like, Half-Life 2, absolutely, best. I can see that. Here's but the Half -Life thing. Alex? I've heard a lot of amazing things about Alex, thing but nobody's is, played it. Nobody's played it because who has the because tech for, for the two reasons. One, nobody... Yeah, no consumers barely have it, and then none of the uh, people reviewers who like at IGN and stuff could play it because they couldn't borrow the equipment because of COVID. So like nobody's played the game. Yeah, I don't know why that one's on it. That should not have been on there at all. At least put a different Half Life and be like, yes, this is the best. like S Civ Four. Again, good game, but best of all time. Most people, I think, if you went, do you think Civilization Four is the best game of all time? They'd be like, "What the hell, Civilization? <laughs> <laughs> That's a game." Yeah, is Burnout Three. Like, if I went to a group of people our age that like grew up playing the same games, it'd been like, "Hey guys, if I said that Burnout Three was the best game of all time, would you be They'd willing be to agree all. with me?" And it's like, would you say yes? And if Really, if anybody said yes, I'd probably shoot them on sight. <laughs> you don't deserve to live. Like, I'm not saying I would die for Red Dead Redemption, because I don't really care about Red Dead Redemption, but that's reasonable. Like, it won, didn't it win Game of the Year or something, or almost yeah. did? Or... The, the yeah. real-life simulator where everything takes as long as it won um, in real life. Grand, Th yeah, that Grand Theft Auto, but yeehaw. Yeah. yeah, but at least GTA's fast. Yeah. Uh, I just... I don't Apex Legends? Legends? Like, like, I love it's like Apex Legends. Someone at IGN came in, they were like, these are my favorite games of all time. I'd be like, first off, this is trash taste. <laughs> first off, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> first off... <laughs> Goodbye. But second, it's it. that's what it feels like. One, one person came in, they were like, this is the bracket we're going to do. And we're going to call it greatest games of all time. And no one disagreed with them for fear of being fired. That's what it feels Apex like. Apex shouldn't have been on this Apex list. I, I, I love this. Apex Legends. Apex Legends is one of my most played games hours-wise. I no. love the game, but it's not the Battle best Royale game of all should have time. Been on this no list. Battle Royale should have been on this list. I think it's vile. It's, it, look, it's valid to have one. Because it was big, you have to. You can't deny that a lot of people played it. I'm one of those swine. I didn't play Fortnite, I mean, but I played like, Apex. Literally, all three of us are. And then I played, played Apex. But like, you can't put. I'm so I'm impressed. PUBG or Warzone didn't also pop up on here because you have Fortnite and Apex on here. Um, yeah, I, mass appeal wise, I guess. 
I can see Fortnite being on there. Yeah, like, literally, look, I hate Fortnite. I love Apex. I if I had to pick a Battle Royale though. to be best game of all time, it'd probably be Fortnite because ever that was a sensation. It's still a sensation, and it drives me crazy, but yeah. Yeah, like, you gotta respect it. I mean, I don't like it. I don't like it one little bit, but they make so much money. Yeah, like, I don't really give a damn about Bloodborne all that much, but, you, I mean, it made it to the quarterfinals. <laughs> <laughs> like... Man, I've never played Bloodborne, Blood Blood but I have it for free. <laughs> you can also get it for free. Yeah, it's part of the collection, isn't it? Yeah, if you have PlayStation Plus and a PS5, they're like, here's a bunch of free games. And then nothing else we've got on PlayStation Plus matches that list of games. Like, those are some quality titles, and I'm like, why do you keep giving me trash? Not trash, but things I'm like, I don't think I'd spend my own money on this. I am kind of excited to actually have a a golf game, that PGA Tour game. I've never played okay, one. Okay, I, I forgot. Like golf games, Is that what we're getting I'm, this month? That's one of them, yeah. That's, Do uh, we know what like, we're getting? Yeah, it's PGA Tour, Mortal Kombat X, and something else. Um, And, like, I'm not going to spend a lot of money on a PGA money. Tour game ever. Um, because it's probably bad, but, get to but play when I get it. to try one out, I like golf games. True. Um, I might try it out just because I'll at least download it. It will be in my library because I'm like, free game! I mean, I won't, I'll won't. i have it in my library, but I won't download it because there's no room on the PlayStation. Huh, yeah. Uh -huh. it, yeah. Uh -huh. And I don't have I don't have $500 to drop on a M.2 upgrade right now. Is um, that what it costs? Yeah, I also it's, don't it's, have... it's like 220 something for a one terabyte Um. But if you want like two terabytes, then yeah, it's probably gonna be five hundred bucks. I don't need two terabytes. Maybe I do. The games are pretty big. I mean, my goal is to get like a four terabyte one or a two terabyte one, and then just call it a day. Never have to worry about it. Um, You'll have to worry about. But it. that I'm pushing. That's just gonna be a while until these chip yeah. the chip shortage stops and these prices come down a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'm just in, uninstalling games right now. Yeah, like, I don't. I just don't. I need just much cycle. Installed. Um, I've got like a hundred open right now because I uninstalled a bunch, and there's still so like a lot of what's installed is pretty big, and I'm just playing. Shoot, it. I've only got like thirty gigs open right now. Well, I uninstalled a lot. Yeah, <laughs> like okay, yesterday. Um, I had like sixteen. Dang. Um, I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have my expansion drive for PS4 games, my terabyte like hard drive. Um, so. But I think uh, with that, we're going to call Cycle it there. Game like me. Um, yeah, I guess. Um, we're going to call it there. Thank you so much for listening. We hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, please share us with friends. We post every Wednesday, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time, uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube.com slash Stormwind Games. Uh, follow us on Twitter, All Night Gamers with a K. We got new shirts in, so you'll probably see a photo on that Twitter before too long. Um, oh, I could do that, maybe. You could do that. Apparently, um, thanks to you please let us know what your personal pick for best game of all time is. And also how maybe. excited are you uh, for Sora? Um, and maybe we'll do a bracket in the future. So yeah, we out. might, we might toss that around. I think that'd be pretty fun. I mean, we already did one for GameCube games, didn't we? Yeah, but yeah. not all not, time. But... Maybe we'll do a couple other systems and then get, and then yeah. All see time. what like hits the right. That would also work. Honestly, Ooh, that dude, might be DS, DS would take a long time. I feel like there'd be a oh. lot of fighting to have. DS, to be had what'd you say? DS, 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 like a bracket yeah. one DS will eight. be like, <laughs> <laughs> you don't agree that my car DS. <laughs> we're uh, we're gonna need a big bracket for DS. Yeah, DS we might but, have to split. Yeah, it will have to be like okay, we'll discuss that behind the scenes. Uh, we'd have to do so, that. Yeah, but we'll figure that out later. Anyway, definitely. thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Uh, Come back next week for our review of Metroid Dread and uh, Banana Mania. And, um, yeah, we hope you guys have a, a well, good week. Well, we might not have a review of Metroid Dread. If, if they don't arrive. Oh, yeah, they might not arrive in time. So maybe not. But maybe you'll have, not. To, you'll have to tune them, in anyway. If Mario does it. not fuck us, we will give you a review of Metroid <laughs> yeah. Dread. Um, and, uh, yeah, that'll do it. Thank you so much. Have a great week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.